Hi there, I'm David Madison, pronouns he, him, his. I'm an educator with the Orlando Museum of Art and a facilitator of the Zebra Coalition's Art with Purpose, a weekly meetup where we explore topics related to identity through different art projects. Though we may not be able to meet in person, I'm excited to share with you a selection of artworks from the OMA. Let's take a look at a work by the artist Frank Moore, pronouns he, him, his. Upon first glance, you may miscount this painting as a simple agricultural landscape featuring a humble farmhand watering his crops. But upon closer inspection, you will realize that not all is as it seems. In this surreal scene, our farmer is actually using a gas pump to nonchalantly spill oil out onto the land. Our supposed corn crop features mutant GMO keyboards instead of cobs. And overhead is not a blanket of stars, but rather satellites cluttering the atmosphere. Moore often references environmental concerns within his dreamlike paintings. While conversations about climate change and fracking are omnipresent within our current political climate, Moore has cheekily envisioned a world where, despite the consequences, we carry on without a care. For me, an interesting element within this painting is the butterflies, often considered a symbol of transformation, that continue to flutter about the canvas despite the harm caused to their environment. Perhaps this is a reminder that nature prevails. Beginning in 1985, Moore lived a part of each year on a farm, and his paintings began to feature issues with bioethics and environmental degradation. That year, he also was diagnosed as HIV positive and later became a founding member of Visual AIDS, an activist group that supports artists and raises visibility for the virus. Moore designed the Red Ribbon, a now universal symbol for HIV and AIDS. Though, as Moore points out within his paintings, we should be aware of the threat scientific and technological progress poses to our environment, it is through this advancement that we have today medications that treat and prevent HIV. Moore passed away in 2002. The painting from OMA's collection was his last work. What are your thoughts about Moore's painting? Respond in your visual journal or in the comments below. Thanks for watching and be sure to follow the Zebra Coalition and the Orlando Museum of Arts social media accounts for more inspiration.